Greetings, I'm Madame X from House of the Dreaming here with Vampire Lounge, welcoming you to the collective. Welcome. We have with us a very distinguished guest um, coming from the UK, who is here with us today, Desaad. Welcome, Desaad. Thank you. Desaad, tell us a little bit about yourself, your background. Um, I, I was born in uh, Stoke-on-Trent, England. Um, I came to New York City in 2006. I've been here for three and a half years. Um, I'm the keeper of the scroll for the Court of Lazarus in New York City. I'm also a deacon of the Black Marble. Terrific. Um, I know what the Court of Lazarus is as I was one of its co-founders back in the year 2002, if I'm not mistaken, 2001. Um, but uh, many of our viewers are not aware of what a court is. Would you mind explaining to our viewers what a court is and uh, what your position in the court as a keeper of the scroll entails? Okay. Um, our court is uh, a meeting place for, on one level, a meeting place for people who, and individuals who are interested and drawn to the vampire perspective. Um, we're, we're made up of a council. We have um, a regent who's our focus for everything we do. Um, we have a keeper of the blood who, for want of a, a better way of describing it, is our security. Um, my own role is focused around the membership, the, you know, the, the recording of new members, um, and I also deal with the ritual and overseeing of the ritual and the spiritual aspects of the court. Oh, that sounds terrific. So the court is not only a social gathering, but would you say it's also an educational and spiritual gathering? Definitely, definitely. We, um, we have rituals. Uh, you know, we have different individuals that, from many different paths. We have Wiccans, um, Discordians, uh, K assists. Uh, one of our main ritual people is um, a Thelemite, uh, which is Alistair Crowley's tradition. Um, our rituals are not to draw people in, they are to educate people and to give people the experience and the opportunity to see other people's faith and beliefs um, at work, really. So uh, our aim is diversity. Exactly. And I think it's. Uh I think it's really an excellent um, way of people getting to know each other, learning about each other's beliefs, and uh, coming to share their traditions and their um, ideas and views and growing from that experience. Um, in the UK, was there also something along those lines, something similar, uh, something that at least aspired to something like the Court of Lazarus? Um, Back in 2001, that we had a court, uh, a real fledgling court, the Court of Albion. Um, a few of us did meet. It never actually formed a court like the Court of Lazarus. It never solidified. Uh, but we became very close for the short time that, that we, we knew each other. Um, as far as the occult traditions go, uh, England is really diverse. Um, I mean, I myself was a member of the Temple of Psychic Youth for about five or six years. Um, you know, uh, I knew Peter Carroll for a short time. I, I met him a few times and I, I discussed his philosophies with him. He was a, a wonderful guy. He's one of the most approachable occultists I've ever experienced. Uh, now, Peter Carroll uh, is an author of uh, Chaos Magic books. Uh, yeah. Uh, so he's um, a, a very interesting author if you are interested in finding out about uh, Chaos Magic. Um, what were some of your more interesting experiences in the in United in United Kingdom? Um, do they compare with the experiences that you've had here in the United States? How is it different? Um, I, I experienced uh, what I could describe as a, a period of awakening um, in the early eighties in the UK, and it led me to investigate various different paths. Um, things that I've read that have come out of America, um, particularly Michelle Bellinger's work. Um, I can identify some of my experiences with some of the things that she's written. Um, I think in the UK it was about finding out about me, whereas since I've been here it's been more about connecting with other people, connecting with organisations and it seems to be 
about me learning the infrastructure of the community and, and what's actually happening here. Terrific. Now another thing that you did mention was uh, the black marble and I noticed that you do have, you are wearing a black marble. Uh, yes, can I you am. tell us a little bit about the Order of the Black Marble? The Order of the Black Marble is um, an order within the vampire community, community which is dedicated to peace within the community. We follow um, three rules um, which we call the Black Trinity. It's basically to resolve and not cause conflict, um, to revel in our shared heritage and to embrace and accept all vampiric courts, churches and organisations. Uh, the order was founded by Lord Christian Blood and there are a number of deacons and a number of members and membership is um, by, ex by invitation. Terrific. Mm -hmm. uh, thank you very much for being with us uh, here on The Collective. Thank you for being a part of The Collective. You're welcome. And thank you all for joining us here. Uh, don't forget to subscribe to our next uh, video presentation, our next interview. And if you are interested in being a part of The Collective, please do get in touch with us right here through uh, YouTube, uh, through VampireLounge.com or through HouseOfTheDreaming.net. Can't wait to zoom in on your perspectives.